Hey guys, this is Eric from FinalCutStudioSchool.com. Excuse me while I move the mic here. And I'm here to show you um, some advanced compositing in Shake. I'm going to try to get through it in one part, but I really don't think I'm going to. So I'm probably going to put it into two parts. So first of all, what we're going to do is track our footage. I've got a picture of some a TV here, as you can see. And if I play it, you can go through there and look at it. Uh, those little um, white taped places on the TV were put there before filming for a track reference. Um, those will be painted out later. So first thing we want to do is we want to track our TV. So I'm going to load my TV into my viewer like so. Go to my transform tab and I'm going to add a stabilize node. Now what this does is it's going to throw a tracker into my scene right here. But as you notice, I have four track points. I need more than one track point. So I'm going to scroll over here to my parameters. Let me bring my parameters up so we can all see what's going on. I'm going to scroll over here to my parameters. And I'm going to turn the track type into four point. And when I do that, you can see it throws up a four points of tracking right there. So I'm going to take my little track points and be sure to leave them how they come up. You don't want to crisscross them. Like take this one and put it down here and this one up here. You want to leave it basically how it is if you can. So I'm going to put my tracking points over top of my little Q marks. You could also use the corners of the TV. This just makes it a lot easier if you think beforehand. Replace my last tracker here. Okay, now we have our four track points set. Now I want to analyze it and track this footage. So what I'm going to do is make sure your playhead's parked on frame one. Always make sure it's parked on frame one. Go up here to your little track forward button and hit return. Now what that's going to do is it's going to track. Now let's sit here and let it go through and track. It's 100 frames. The tracking capabilities in Shake is absolutely wonderful. The best I've come across over AE and motion, all that. Okay, now we have our track point selected. Let's go back to the beginning. Now you can see our track, our trackers. So now what we want to do is, since I'm going to match this picture of me right here to the TV screen, I'm going to go to my stabilize parameters, and I'm going to go from the inverse transform, I'm going to change it from stabilize to match. Like that right there. And then I'm going to turn it to active. Then I'm going to select my stabilize node and hit the E key to extract it, or you can just shake it like this. Hence, Shake's namesake. Now we have this stabilize node with our tracker information. Well, we're going to feed, and also it's 720 by 480. This little resize node here, that's all it is. It just resized my pick to 720 by 480, so we'll match this. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring down my resize node into my stabilize node. Like so right there. Now we have this little connection going on. Now I'm going to select my picture. And I'm going to go to transform, and I'm going to add a corner pin node. Now this will bring up my corner pinning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the right side of my TV, or the left side of my TV, and load it into the viewer, and click the right side of my corner pin, and this will load the corner pin settings over top of my TV picture. So now I'm going to make sure I'm on frame one, take my corner pin, and place them down here in the corners. Like this. There. Now we have this picture tracked to our TV. And what I need to do is select my TV. Go to Layer. Select the Mix node. And bring my Stabilize down into my Mix node. Now I'm going to go back into my Corner Pin. I'm going to make sure everything is lined up. Like so. Like that. Now, we have everything good to go. Now, this is fast now. This is a fast job, remember. I'm just trying to go through this 
quick enough to get you guys oriented. Um, now when I scroll through my footage, you can see my picture is tracked to the TV, and it looks pretty convincing, you know, for such a fast job. Um, but this is just the beginning, folks. This is just the beginning. We've got a lot more we can do to make this look more convincing. 